Giselle Froon was born in Berlin in 1908. She slowly became the pillar among French feminist intellectuals after fleeing Nazi Germany and settling in Paris in the 1930s. She pursued her doctoral studies at the Sorbonne. In her career, she was on approximately 80 pho photographic assignments around the world, mainly for time and life. Today, she is noted for being one of the greatest portrait photographers ever. Jacques Chirac once stated that she was better than anyone at revealing the essence of her subject through their expressions. Giselle Froon published six books in the period of 1936 to 1974. In 1945, she published France. Other books she published include Mexique Precolombian and James Joyce in Paris, His Final Years. One of her best known books is named Photographie et Société. It is about the uses and abuses of photography. This photo was named Pierre Bernard's color palette. It features uh, Pierre Bernard, which is an artist, his work table. This was photoed in Le Canet, France in 1946 and printed on resin coated chromogenic color print on Kodak paper. It features a detailed focus on aged hands and paints. The focus of the photo was on the colored portions of the composition, which stressed the importance of the colored pigment, pigments and the hands to an artist. The rest of the photo was nearly monochromatic with not as much detail. The whole composition has an age feel to it from the veins in the artist's skinny hands to the rough texture of the dried paint on the palette. The neutrals in the... The subject of this photo was Anouk Amy in 1962. It is a black and white composition that emphasizes this actor's facial expression of lost helplessness, as if she's looking at something that is not going the right way or a problem not solved correctly and only being able to look on as this person makes their mistakes while she has already worn them and therefore has nothing else to say. The eye is attracted first to the subject's expression, then to the brighter spaces in the photo, like the pearls she is wearing or the two shiny buttons on the cuff of her black sh dark shirt. The composition was arranged effectively in the balance of lights and darks. The background is the right shade to blend the subject in so that no part of the subject blends in to the background. 